Rocket here. Got another video for you. We're going to talk about sand check or a top sleeve. Uh, it comes up quite a bit. It's kind of an old school thing. It's what we did. Uh, nowadays, we will run a HVR, hollow valve rod pump, and we'll talk about that in another video. But I just want to touch on the, sand, the sliding sleeves. Uh, basically, what it does is on the on an upstroke, you pick up fluid. On the downstroke, you know solids is going to fall out of the fluid and can fall down inside the pump with a regular guide on top of the pump. Uh, as the solids falls out, some of it falls down around the outside of the pump, but a bunch of it falls down inside the pump and winds on winds up on top of the plunger, which can cause damage to your plunger and to your barrel and cause a sticking issue and that sort of thing. This sliding sleeve or sand check, uh, as it goes on the upstroke, the valve rod, the friction of the valve rod picks this inner sleeve up. I hope you can see that. Uh, and on the downstroke, it closes off to keep the sand from falling down inside the pump. That's what the sand check was for. Uh, we also can use this for gas. It will seal off enough to hold back the hydrostatic fluid weight, that 3,000 pounds of fluid weight on that lower traveling valve and get that valve to open up a little easier, okay? And so here's another version of the thing. It's can't hardly see the sliding sleeve inside it, but it's there. So, if you want to know anything else about this or recommendation on a sucker rod pump, just get a hold of uh, Rick R at donan.net or tech team at donan.net and we'll get back to you. Appreciate it.